Have you ever wondered, can I still eat my three meals while doing intermittent fasting? Well, you're not alone. Intermittent fasting has been creating a storm in the health and wellness world with its promise of weight loss, improved metabolic health, and even increased longevity. It's not just a fad, it's a lifestyle shift that has caught the attention of fitness gurus and everyday folks alike. But here's where many get tangled. The question of meal frequency. Can one continue the sacred tradition of breakfast, lunch, and dinner while on this fasting journey? Or does intermittent fasting demand a sacrificial offering of one or more of these cherished meals? Let's debunk some myths and get to the truth about meal frequency during intermittent fasting. First things first, what exactly is intermittent fasting? Let's dive right into it. Intermittent fasting is an eating pattern where you cycle between periods of eating and fasting. But don't let the word fasting scare you. It's not about starving yourself. Rather, it's about scheduling your meals in a way that makes the most of your body's metabolic rhythms. There are several methods of intermittent fasting, each with its own unique eating and fasting windows. You've probably heard of the 16-8 method, where you fast for 16 hours and eat during an 8-hour window. This could be as simple as skipping breakfast and having your first meal at noon and your last meal at 8 in the evening. Sounds manageable, right? Then there's the 5-2 diet, where you eat normally for 5 days of the week, and restrict your calories to about a quarter of their normal level for two days. Or the eat-stop-eat method, which involves a full 24-hour fast once or twice a week. The beauty of these methods is that they can be tailored to suit your lifestyle and your body's needs. The principle behind intermittent fasting revolves around our eating and fasting windows. The eating is the time frame in which we consume our meals, while the fasting window is the period of time we abstain from eating. These windows can be adjusted based on personal preference and health goals. So, it's not about what you eat but when you eat, interesting isn't it? But wait, does this mean you can only eat 3 meals a day during your eating window? Well let's bust some myths and misconceptions in the next scene. Stay tuned! And hey, if you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content, stay tuned! Now on to the million dollar question, can you still eat your 3 meals a day while intermittent fasting? Let's bust this myth wide open. Some people have this idea that intermittent fasting is a strict regimen of three meals a day, no more, no less. But that's like saying you have to wear polka dots on Tuesdays. It's just not a thing. Intermittent fasting isn't about the number of meals you eat, but when you eat them. It's like a window you can only climb through at certain times. Whether you want to bring in three meals, two, or even just one, that's up to you. It's like a buffet, but with time instead of food. You see, the beauty of intermittent fasting lies in its flexibility. It's like a yoga master, bending and stretching to fit into your lifestyle. Maybe you're a breakfast skipper or perhaps you prefer a light dinner. Or maybe you're the kind of person who loves a good brunch. Whatever your style, intermittent fasting can work with it. And remember, it's not a race to see how many meals you can squeeze into your eating window. It's about nourishing your body, feeling satisfied and enjoying your food. It's not about cramming as many sandwiches into your eating window as humanly possible. Unless, of course, they're really good sandwiches, so yes, you can have your three meals, two meals, or even one, if that's what suits you. The key is flexibility. But remember, what you eat still matters. Now let's dive into the heart of the matter. You see, intermittent fasting isn't just about when you eat, but what you eat too. And no, we're not talking about indulging in a pizza party or ice cream marathon during your eating window. The focus should be on nutrient-dense foods. Picture this a plate full of vibrant vegetables, lean proteins like chicken or tofu, whole grains like quinoa or brown rice, and healthy fats like avocados or almonds. These foods are not only packed with essential nutrients but also keep you feeling satisfied longer. It's like giving your body a high-quality fuel. Just as a sports car performs better with premium gasoline, your body functions optimally when fueled with top-notch nutrients. But here's the kicker, portion control is just as important as the quality of your food. You might be thinking, I'm fasting, I can eat as much as I want during my eating window, right? Well, not exactly. Overeating even on healthy foods can lead to weight gain and other health issues. So how do you strike a balance? It's simple. Listen to your body. Eat when you're hungry and stop when you're full. It's not about having a three-course meal every time you sit down to eat, but about providing your body with the nutrients it needs to thrive. So, while you have the flexibility with the number of meals, ensure you're fueling your body with the right nutrients. Wondering how to determine the right meal frequency for you? Well, you're not alone. This is where the beauty of intermittent fasting really shines. It's all about flexibility and personalization. Just like how every person is unique, 
Our eating patterns and preferences can vary drastically. Some of us are morning people, thriving on a hearty breakfast, while others might feel more energetic after an afternoon or evening meal. The same goes for the number of meals. Some might prefer sticking to the traditional three meals a day, others might find two meals more satisfying, and some might even fancy a series of smaller meals throughout their eating window. So, how do you figure out what works best for you? It's quite simple. Experiment. Try different meal frequencies and timings. Monitor how your body responds. Do you feel more energized? Are you able to maintain your focus better? What about your hunger levels? Remember the goal is to feel satiated and energetic not famished and lethargic. But remember, the key here is to listen to your body. It's the best judge of what it needs. If you're not feeling great with your current meal frequency or timings, don't be afraid to change things up. Intermittent fasting is not a one-size-fits-all solution. It's a tool that can be customized to fit your lifestyle. Also keep in mind that it's okay to have different meal frequencies on different days, life is unpredictable, and your eating patterns can adapt to that. If one day you're only up for two meals, that's fine. If the next day you feel like having four smaller meals, that's also fine. The flexibility of intermittent fasting allows you to accommodate these fluctuations. Remember, the best diet is the one that you can stick to, so find your rhythm. So, let's wrap it up, shall we? We've taken quite a journey today, diving deep into the world of intermittent fasting. We've seen how it's not just about the when, but also the what and how many. Remember, intermittent fasting isn't a strict three meals a day rule. It's more like a choose your own adventure book. You can have two, three, or even more meals during your eating window. The key is to listen to your body and align your eating patterns with your personal schedule and goals. We also talked about the importance of quality in your meals. It's not just about filling your stomach, it's about nourishing your body. Emphasize on nutrient-dense foods. Think lean proteins, healthy fats, and fiber-rich carbs. And let's not forget portion control. It's easy to overeat when you're only eating a few times a day, so keep an eye on those servings. But perhaps the most important thing we discussed today is the need for personalization and experimentation. Intermittent fasting isn't a one-size-fits-all solution, it's a flexible tool you can adapt to your needs, so play around with it. Try different meal frequencies and timings, find what works best for you. So go ahead give intermittent fasting a try and let us know how it goes. And remember, you're in control of your meals. And before we sign off, if you found this content helpful, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. If you want more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming posts. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.